Hello, hello, hello. Uh, welcome back to the garage. Um, today we are tying up a few things. I have found out that the garage smells of petrol every single time I arrive, which uh, you would imagine that with the six motorcycles it will be petrol-y, but it's usually nice and neat. But I have discovered that the um, fuel petcock is leaking, so um, I need to take it apart, take it out, clean it, tighten it up in a way that I can get the hose in and um, that'll be good. Um, then first job is to put the wheel back on, it's now balanced, put it back on the bike and then um, once she's um, rolling I put her back on this stand and I'm just gonna double check all the points and uh, make sure the tune's right. Uh, so first let's get these two bikes properly set up and um, then we can have a look at the last one. Right, let's get to it. Welcome to my party, we're just getting started. A life is a dream or a nightmare scarring. Hand me a drink cause I think I'm going all in. Get me a shrink, who can catch me when I'm falling? Cover up my scars, flip the handlebars. Crashing in my car, wake up in a bar I'll be a superstar, just on my avatar This world is so bizarre, empty out the reservoir Yeah, I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy, don't think I'll get on safe So I'm taking six shots all straight to the face I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay I think I'm going crazy, don't think I'm taking six shots, are you coming with me? Sometimes you need to let loose, grab juice, get goose, tattoos, taboos, get screwed Loosen up, buttercup, all those hate comments will never make you feel enough We're all adequate graduates, hearts full of calluses, but we know calculus Damn, ain't that fabulous, can't wait to apply all those mathematicus but we can't get a job that pays us enough. I'm about to pop up. Fuck you, you're lost. We all know that we never Okay, job number one done. Tire is back on. Uh, ready to roll. So um I'll just have to check the points and uh push rod clearance and um I'll be quite happy where she's at. Um I'll have to now when she's assembled, I have to double check the pressure on the tire and um, we can go for a little spin. But um, now I'm just gonna yeah, double check the tire pressure and then go to this thing, uh, drain, the, drain the tank and um, try to fix the uh, petcock. The annoying part on uh, buying a motorbike from someone else who uh, build it um, is that they don't give a shit about keeping everything uniform. For example, this bolt is metric. And when I took this thing apart, every second bolt was metric, every second imperial. It just does my head in, you know? It doesn't take hell of a lot of effort to go and buy freaking uh, imperial bolts for everything. You know, why, you know, why do you even bother build Harleys or um, get into the Harleys and then you slap whatever freaking metric balls you feel like putting on, you know? F***ing hell. Just make some effort. But that's what people do. They buy a bloody motorcycle. I'm going to build it. I'm going to make it a chopper. And then half fast everything, spray paint everything, black powder coat, black... Uh, front fender, shiny black, you know, back fender, matte black, tank, whatever other black. Uh, at least this one has a somewhat okay paint, but the, the 72 Spoly 
Man, that was uh, ridiculous. That was, I think, when I tried to strip the paint on the tank, that was 15 coats of color. And I spent three months scrubbing powder coat of the engine cases, you know, because somebody thought black is cool. So, uh, ah, man, that's my heading. Sorry for the grump. <laughs> and use Imperial Bold on Harleys. Come on. Not such a hard job, is it? It's not like I don't like metric, but metric has a place to go to, you know. If you are building 70s Harley, he's hardly gonna have a freaking metric uh, bolts on it. And uh, secondly, if you go and riding, you have to take a toolbox. What are you gonna do when uh, half of them is freaking metric, half imperial? Are you gonna take uh, two sets of gear with you? I do not. Yeah, and then you're gonna be stuck trying to freaking... Oh, never mind. I could have um, kept my rent for uh, uh, rent, cook my rent, my anger for draining the petrol thing, eh, so I don't waste time just standing around and talking when I could actually do stuff and uh, talk at the same time. Well. Okay, so Petcock, it's cleaned and rebuilt and it's in there and uh, by the looks of it, it's uh, holding petrol, so we are already on a winner there. I'm just gonna give her a start and uh, because I'm, the battery is very tiny and last time I went for a ride, uh, I couldn't start her again, so... I'm just gonna get my measurement, measure, measure tools <laughs> and I'm gonna measure current when she's running see if uh, the alternator is actually working and I can, and the battery is being charged just to make sure everything's fine if the uh, battery is charged or uh, everything working and the battery is being charged it just means I have a small battery and uh, she doesn't really do so well trying to get started so um, that's okay, let's uh, test it. I have hooked up a voltmeter uh, to the battery. So we are reading 12.69. So um, let's see if we can give her a start. Key on, put some petrol in. Hmm. Come on, baby. got nothing uh, one thing to make sure uh, I know what I'm doing is to start up my 1970 and see uh, what's happening with the generator down here what voltage I get reading and compare them to the 70 of 79 uh, one thing I did uh, check as some of the guys um, commented on my video is that um, key, power key, has two positions. If I turn it left, the bike's running without any running lights. If I turn the key right, it's um, 
it starts up with the running lights. So uh, that's a useful part of the information. I didn't know that about it before. So um, okay, I'm gonna get the key, start the 1970, and um, let's see what kind of reading I'm gonna get out of the generator and um, see what's happening. But I don't think this one's charging, so that's not very good. Alrighty, let's give it a start. So we are getting 14 and a half volts out of the generator, which is what I expected. So uh, that's definitely charging the battery. Where uh, the 1979, I don't really think the generator is working. Not exactly. I want. That's not exactly thing I wanted to hear. Or no, I'm gonna give it another test. Um, but yeah, that's annoying. Maybe I have to take the generator out and uh, see what's happening with it, but I, I don't know how to fix it. And they are really expensive to buy and they are really expensive to ship, so uh, because they're heavy and everything has to come from states, so um, that's not great. Well, let's start here again and see what happens. Zero volts. That's not particularly great. Oh, I'm falling. Hmm. So, um, it's not exactly what I wanted to hear. It's not good. So, no wonder I uh, ran out of battery um, last time and I had to crash that the bike because the battery is not being charged. Little as it is, it should be enough to start a bike and then. Uh, when I go for a ride, uh, I should charge it back up. But if it's not charging, then um, that makes sense. Damn it! Okay. Uh, let's do some figuring out. I am going to... Maybe the timing of the blue one My wait. And I'm just gonna take this um, generator apart and see if there is anything I can see inside. While it's not working, maybe something's not engaged proper. Um, yeah, I'll see what I can figure out.
Jokey, after some research, I have found out how to test a uh, generator. So, that one goes to the negative, this one goes to the battery negative, and to that, come on. And this should go positive and it should spin. And it's not spinning. That's not good. Looks like generator might be gone. Poos. Because battery is running. Uh, we have 12.5, so that's fine. Hmm. No, nothing. Okay, that's test done. The generator is not working. Might as well open it up and see what inside, if there is anything I can do about it, if I can test it, but something's amiss. There we go. Yeah. Of. And uh, one thing I have noticed is that uh, this brush is nicely springing and this one is stuck inside and is not moving at all. Maybe that's our problem. I don't know what's going on. I'll uh, try to... Wow, that's stuck. Proper. Yeah, the spring is very loose. Maybe if I just clean this all up and um, put it together, it might be enough. This is a nice spring, this is very soft. I wonder if I can find alternative for this spring. There's plenty of brushes left. Um, just need a stiffer spring. But before I get to the springs and ordering new, I shall um, just give this a test. But clean it up first. Spring, we have a new brush, well not new brushes, but new springs holding the brushes in place, so there is actually a proper contact. So let's do this. Um, I will connect the F terminal to the earth. I will connect the other screw, other earth. Really? to the neutral negative and now uh, the positive will connect to the armature will it run? no <laughs> I was so expecting 
It's been... Damn it. Nothing. Damn it. Hmm. Maybe there is no rescuing of this generator. I got Okay, I have uh, put a proper power into it. I have it set to supply. We get 10 volts, 10.3 volts here. The battery was too weak to uh, run this, but um, even with the 10 volts going to the generator, nothing's happening. So, um, yeah, there's no power. I don't think there is rescue in this generator. Alrighty, so here is our update. I had this thing apart about three, four times and it's not running at all. I can hear a little uh, uh, <laughs> that it wants to move, but yeah, it's just not spinning at all. And I have, I don't know how to check all the internal wiring. I, I tried, tried to make some sense of it. I have tried to. Uh, uh, read through the manuals, there is nothing I can figure out how to test it and um, there is a bit of a bundle inside on some wires so it looks like somebody was already trying to fix it um, yeah by the looks of it I can't fix everything which is disappointing mm. I'll have to uh, ruminate I, I was so hoping that it will be so simple just replacing the spring uh, for the brushes to have a better contact and uh, yeah why is it not running I don't know if you have any idea what to check and what to do with this let me know in a comment and I would greatly appreciate it um, that would be awesome yeah please help me out dude help me out guys let us figure out how to fix this i don't want to buy a new one don't have money for it but <laughs> yeah if i result in buying one later on maybe but um for now i just want to fix it so um write in the comment what i should do thanks